Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we have finally arrived at the Van Ram National League. Uh, in the previous episode, we had some very exciting playoffs with um, a really big surprise at the end as well, with one player that I was playing his second match of the whole season, ended up scoring four goals for us um, in the final. So, I've gone through the summer, I've um, reinforced the squad, and we're about to play our third match of the league. I've played two matches just to kind of suss out what players were working out better for us. So I'm going to take you through all of that, starting with the squad. So I'm going to introduce you to the whole squad again, even though we didn't make many changes. I think we only made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually, 11 changes. So yeah, half of the squad is, is new. So starting with Russ Griffiths, he's our goalkeeper from last season. We kept him on. Uh, he was previously at Telford. And for our backup goalkeeper, we now have Sean Rowley. Um, it's not really an improvement. Uh, we Last season we had um, a player that was on loan, so we couldn't get him this year. So we got Sean instead. He came from Matlock. Well, Cray, but in real life, from Matlock. Um, then in the right side of defense, uh, Jared Hotchkiss is finally retired. So he was the final player uh, originally from the Hereford squad. Um, so he's he's retired and to plug that gap we went and got Blaine Rowe on loan. Blaine Rowe plays for Coventry and we still have uh, Zen Mohammed who was with us last year. He was kept on as well. In the center of defense we had one actually no two new players uh, was it one? Was it two? No, just one. So we still have Cameron um, from last year, from Kidderminster. Uh, Dave Stevens as well from the end of last year. Uh, Borham. And also from last year, we still have uh, Dwayne Willey from Alfreton. Uh, but we do have one new player. Jude Russell is our new central defender. He was originally from Crystal Palace and he's been through some other clubs as well. So he's new. Uh, on the left side of the fence, we still have uh, Fitzpatrick from last year. He's our main uh, penalty taker. And the only player we've ever spent money on as well. And alongside, we have improved that side of defense slightly with the addition of Noah Chessmain, 25 year old from Maidenstone. Um, that's all of the defense. The um, finalize that defense. We didn't really make a change in the defensive midfield, but we'd had for a brief moment Nikki Bale or Nikki Bailey last year. We never really used him. Um, there was a bit of confusion at the end of last year where one player um, was about to agree. I think it was Craig Smith. He was about to agree a contract to leave the club, and in the meantime. Uh, I went and got Nikki Bailey, and Nikki Bailey joined us, and then Craig Smith ended up rejecting that um, offer from the other club, so it was all a bit, a bit weird, but, but Nikki Bailey is now uh, with us. He joined last year, but he's with us to actually play this year, because we had um, Michael Rose as well for a while back, so it was a bit of a confusion last year regarding this position, but... Now we, we it's all sorted out. Nikki Billy is there and Mark Brain is there as well from last year still. So no changes really in this position. Now, in the center of midfield, we still have Luke. He's uh, uh, um, probably no longer our main player, to be honest. Who's our best player at the moment? Jude. And then a couple of people. Okay. Yeah, he's still up there, but uh, we have this brand new... Um, midfield as well. Jamie Andrews, who's with us for free from West Brom. He's a pretty good player, one of our best players. Um, so he's new. In the right side of attack, I believe we have two new players. Again, there was a little bit of confusion here. So we had Amani Duku, who was initially going to stay with us for another season, but then in on a whim... 
uh, just a couple weeks ago, he decided to leave and go to an another club. So he ended up firing 2P once we um, had agreed to hire Rayon Dillon. Uh, but then when Dooku left, uh, we had to find another player, and by then 2P was gone. So we ended up being slightly downgraded to Harrison Alves. So Harrison Alves is basically here just to plug a gap that was left by 2P. Portuguese player has been playing in England pretty much all of his life. So that's that. On the left side of attack, nothing's changed. We still have Stephen Kenny. And we still have Will Longbottom as well that joined us at the end of last season. And then in attack, we made a few improvements. So we still have Dylan Lawrence, who was originally with us on loan last season. Then we managed to get a permanent deal with him. And now he's um, stayed again with us. He's improving steadily, so it's a good investment. Uh, Johnny Smith, I wanted to keep Johnny Smith. Uh, but he wanted to become part staff, part staff, part player. So he wanted to be like an under 18s coach, and I wasn't having any of that. So I decided to invest to invest in um, at new strikers. And on top of that, we also had our um, well, we had two strikers leave. We had both Sean's leave. The Sean that played uh, four goals in the final of the playoffs. Uh, I guess he got a little bit upset we didn't play him last season until the very end. So he ended up agreeing with another club. And Sean Roche as well agreed a contract with another club. So we have three new strikers. We have uh, Christian Ebaba Mubiala, uh, the Irish uh, player from Tree Treaty. He's not a regen, but he's very, very young. And then we have uh, Un Pollock, 20-year-old, from Bournemouth, Bournemouth, or played for Bournemouth. And finally, we have Hamzad Karakbo from Sierra Leone, and he used to play for QPR. So, so we got loads and loads of new players um, going around here now in attack. So far, we have drawn one, won one against Sully Hall. I made some very small changes. Actually, I think I made these changes before the final, um, although I tweaked some things back. So we're playing a fairly positive park the bus. Sometimes I change the mentality, but we are, we've adapted it slightly by making the passing and the tempo lower. We also made them work the ball into the box because I've, I, all of these changes were due to the fact that we were losing a lot of possession. So I wanted to keep the ball on the floor. We wanted to keep the ball more controlled. I also made the goalkeeper take short kicks. Um, I don't do low crosses, even though I did that for the final. But at the moment, I'm going with mixed crosses. I think that works better. We have really good... Uh, let's, for example, look at Hazad. Hamzad. He's got incredible jumping reach. Uh, his heading isn't great, but we got pretty strong players in the air. Actually, I haven't actually looked at the comparison. Physically, we're always going to be very poor for some reason, just the way it is. So, heading is pretty good. Jumping reach. The average isn't actually that great. We got a couple of players with good, good jumping reach, but I suppose it's not. Decision and passing is pretty good in the midfield. Positioning is pretty good in goalkeeping is just average. Okay. Dynamics, we are gone back a little bit. We were good in good cohesion. Now we just average cohesion. Obviously, there's a lot of new players in. Um, I wanted to change the captain, vice captain a little bit, but um, I decided to keep the gu these guys the same. When I had... Ooh. Excuse me, big yawn. Oh yeah, excuse me there, big yawn. Um, when I had a chat with both of them to um, replace them in their roles, they weren't very happy, so I decided to stick with them. Even though I would probably go for... Uh, where is he? I can't see him. Hmm. Oh, there he is. 
was it Luke? Was it Bale? I think it was. I was gonna have Bale as captain. Fitzpatrick as vice captain. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It still all works fine. Now let's go into a match. I'm not sure. Um. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm not sure where Eve's fleet comes. They're fifth at the moment. We're not fifth, are we? We're yeah. So they're probably gonna get the upper hand of this game, but it'll just give you a nice introduction to the squad, and you can see what's going on with the players as well. I've obviously made improvements with the staff as well. Uh, new coaches, uh, pretty much new everywhere, to be honest. Uh, new managers for the youth teams, um, a new head of youth development, a new director of football, which I use. The director of football is uh, it's actually an interesting use. I don't actually use the director of football to make any transfers or to do any contracts or anything like that. He's basically the club spokesperson and moralizer, motivator. So I used the director of football. I choose a director of football with very good motivation, motivating. And then I use them to deliver all the talks uh, and all the interviews and all of that. So other than myself, he uh, is the person with the most motivating at the club. Um, also have new physios. And I managed to call from the club all of the staff that was previously at the club. Um, so Jan, the assistant, who was the original assistant for um, Hereford, he's gone as well. We've got a setup with two goalkeeping coach coaches, each specialised in one of the different goalkeeping areas, and one, sorry, two fitness coaches, plus another coach. Um, and then we have myself, the under-21s manager and an under-21s coach. So we've got lots of areas of coaching covered that way. Uh, the only person that I haven't looked at yet is the... There's an under-18s coach that the contract has run out. So I need to look at renewing his contract or getting someone else in. i actually forgotten about that, so I need to go back and do that. 2-0. Looks like it's going to be a loss. Yeah, so, so looking after all of that, also managed to improve training facilities, youth facilities, youth recruitment, junior coaching, um, all of those things. Third. Wow. It's only 27 minutes. Obviously the aim of this season is just to stay in the league. We want to make sure we stay in this league so we can build on that and then next season try and go for playoffs again. Oh, and the other news is that we have a senior affiliate club. Forest Green are officially our senior affiliates. So we have 13k coming from them, which isn't that much to be honest, 13k. But it does mean that we have a little bit of revenue coming from that, but also the, potentially, the potential for um, recruiting players from them, whether on loan or cheaper transfers. Is it Forest Green that um, has a policy where all their 
players have to be vegetarian. Have I heard that somewhere? Maybe I dreamt it, but... It's a pretty interesting philosophy, I suppose, even though it probably is quite hard to meet. Uh, actually, no pun intended there, but I just realised what I did. Alright, it's not a very exciting game to watch for us. Um, with all of these goals coming our way. Seems to have been deflected by the keeper. Just pause. Okay. I want to pause and put the table up rather than the um, match day summary. Oops. Wow. That was such a bad... Um, just abandoned completely. I think he tried to run for the ball, but left himself super exposed there. Run too late to towards the ball. Left goal exposed. Right, I'm gonna put the league up. There we go. That gives us a better idea of what's going on. The the goal for um, the FA Cup is to go up to the first round, I think. Last year we went to the second round, so this year should be, in theory, easier to get to this first round. And then the uh, goal for the Trophy Cup is to get to the fourth round. Last year we went to the fifth round, so again it should be achievable. Both, both of those should be achievable because we achieved one more, one further last year. Very good. Okay, Dave Stevens, claws on back. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, apologies. Okay, Dave Stevens, claws on back from a free kick. We're just getting hammered here. Oh, there we go. 5-1. I even had someone at the post waiting, but I seem to have been asleep. I was looking the wrong way. <laughs> look at the ball, man. You have to look at the ball. That's one of my pet peeves uh, whenever I'm playing sports or when I'm watching sports is players who are not looking at the ball. Like, the ball is the main object objective. Look at the ball. Especially when you're in attack. Like, why would you not look at the ball if you have possession? I can uh, kind of understand it when you're in defense, like, in that sense. Because you're probably keeping an eye on your player as well. So, you're getting the in the way of your player or defeating your opponent is probably more important than the ball. But you still need to keep an eye on the ball. But when you're in attack, there's no excuse. You should be looking at the ball. <laughs> you should be aware of where the ball is and all of that. This is one of my pet peeves. Um, 
Right, so that is the end of this episode. I've introduced you to the squad, the new squad. I'm going to play now until the half season, January, February time. And let you know how it's going. Um, oh no, I don't want to do that. Just disband this group. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll let you know how it's going. The priority here is to just stay in the league. We're not trying to make massive waves just yet in the Vinerama National. But we want to stay in the league, solidify our position here. In fact, the objectives, if I show you, uh, is to avoid relegation. I always try to do better than that, so probably I want to go for a mid-table mid position. Or at least avoid the fight. Um, and we are playing pretty well everywhere else. Newport, we're not going to play against them. Who else? Uh, supporters. Cheltenham. Okay, so another, nine, neither of our opponents are um, in our league. So I don't know if we can really match that judgment except if we play them in cup in cup tournaments i think we've increased our season holders yeah we did by about 276 i mean by 276 we had 1200 last year oh okay that's nice so we have an international player with us that will be very good for his experience and also for his playing time, for his fitness. Because uh, we have four strikers, so that does mean that there's a lot of downtime if you're a striker in this club. So having him go out and do international duty might actually help him uh, keep fitness, but also help give it an opportunity for other strikers to step up and play as well. So it's good overall for everyone. And I'm going to leave it there. It's September now. We're going to play against Hampton and Richmond. So I'm going to prepare for that game. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you are enjoying this journey now through the leagues. Uh, that's the intention of the save. Help Hereford get through the leagues. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and all of that. Also, check out the Patreon. The Patreon. You can now have your name uh, being... Um, nicknamed you can nickname one of these regens so if you become a patron one of the options when you go on, on patreon is to give your name to a regen so if you do that then your name might appear as a regen and then we'll follow how that regen is doing etc so make sure you check that out thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye